Long before the word social media became commonplace, people discovered that linking computers together was a great way to talk to other people. In 1971, the very first electronic mail message was sent. Within two years, 75% of the traffic across what we now call the internet was generated by that first killer app, email. We discovered that people really like using computers to be social, to the point that now there are over 270 billion emails sent every day, yet more than half of them are spam. In this course, we'll explore how media got social, how the internet, the web, and mobile devices have changed the way we socialize from that very first email through to today. We'll talk about how social media enables more people to participate in more ways than ever before and also to consider the conflicts, like how the impact of antisocial behavior online is often seen as less destructive than face-to-face. -face. In the last decade, platforms like Facebook and Google have become central to how we socialize. Every day, new ways to communicate are emerging from animated pictures to filters that communicate everything from our mood to what we're watching. And almost every interaction online leaves behind a trace. That often becomes linked to our real names and part of the story of who we are online. In How Media Got Social, we'll look at where social media came from, the opportunities created, the challenges still to overcome, and what happens to all those social media traces that we leave behind. This is our story, the story of how each of us is social every day. We look forward to continuing that story with you.